Hey guys, welcome back to Gaming with Dylan. We're here with the Wolf Among Us. I'm in a better mood than last night, but I'm still pretty depressed because my PlayStation 4, we spent a lot of money on that. We got it when it was still relatively new, about a month after it came out. So it cost a good few hundred dollars. <laughs> Plus the pre-order to get I Am Sesta took almost two fucking weeks to wait on. And now I can't even play my games like Fallout 4 and I Am Sesta, so I'm a little depressed with that. But today we're back with the Wolf of Mongers, I'm going to try to give you my full 100% of happiness. Because that's what you guys came here to say. So let's go. Hey, also, I got to get a new mouse. It's the same kind of mouse, it's just cheaper. Smaller, it's a little bit smaller. Got myself doing fucking things with the PS4, trying to fix it. I literally tore that sudden bitch part. We're at Johan the Butcher's. Or we're going to the cut above with Johan the butcher. The cut above, the butcher shop. There's a button back there. Did anyone else see it? Ugh. No smoking. Stop smoking. I'm gonna be nice for as long as I need to be. I kind of just took a shower, guys. Don't worry about it. Cola, Coca Coca Cola. I might do in the fridge, I might end up getting it. My teeth are going more yellow, I need to start brushing them again before I tea paste. Huh, empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Generally, you're not supposed to walk around with a ton of fucking blood on you, but you know. We're a big bad wolf, so. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. That's coming from a person. I want to eat this. That's coming from a wolf. Who eats people. Bing a bing a bing. Hey, hey Johan. Wolf? Johan. Ah. What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing Bring it shot. down. Where is it? Bring it down. Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? Bloody helping. What? B Bloody Mary? B -b -b Bloody Mary. Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I, I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where, where it is, where? right? It's around the corner and a few blocks down. I'll bet you get lucky there. <laughs> I, I, I guess that's why they call it... Uh... I've been there. Didn't find what I was looking for. Had some words with Jersey, too. Words? Anyway, if, if I'd have known that you already looked at the Lucky Pawn, I, I, I wouldn't have pointed you there. I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. And I certainly don't mean to offend. I don't know how else to help. <laughs> Listen, Crane had the mirror. Mary had Crane. And she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm gonna have a problem with you. So you better think real hard about what you say next. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? Of course there's a way. Do not what? be so fucking hostile. Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Shit. I'll be right out. Nobody wears dress shoes. Just wait out front. I'll be right there. What's the problem? I'm just coming back to give you a hand. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Damn it. 
such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please. Please don't kill me. Listen. Just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Oh, okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got down the hook in the deep freeze. They? You mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The Crooked Men's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. You want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you. They muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know what. Is this place? Isn't this I fantastic? You, I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. I get why you flipped that switch, but you had a choice. You could have told me. Warn them, I might be dealing with your problem right now. Told you? Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. So this is what beasts are delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's... it's all the fucking same! These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Too bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful.
Somewhere down the line, guys, my Maybe recording of Wolf Among Us Chapter 5, which was a complete... Which was a complete playthrough of the final chapter. That simple. Let's delete it. So it's I'm gonna have to play it either again what or chapter by chapter. It's a crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked, like breaking their bones. And do I really need to explain Gross. this? Nope. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Ton of dog. What the hell is that? Dew of the sea. It's a coat. I know Ichabod this isn't coat. your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Crane's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. No time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. That sick piece of... The shard! It's the shard! Finally! Hold on. Woo! Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Big B. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take him down. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. I want to say I'm going to play longer, but I'm not. The next part of the game gets pretty fucking interesting, so I think I'm going to save that for the next episode and have that just be a really fucking... You'll like the next episode, guys. So this has been Dylan at Game Award. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for whatever. I'll see you in the next episode.